Hey guys, I'm Scott and this is Cooking with Brio. We have an awesome recipe for you today. It's blueberry cobbler. We're cooking it all over the Brio, over the open fire, and it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be topped with this ridiculous crumble and it's gonna be gooey and decadent. We wanna thank Corey V for this recipe. He's one of our grill masters and uh, thanks to him, we're gonna enjoy some really good dessert today. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our butter that I put on the edge just to melt down a little bit. We don't wanna like boil the butter or anything like that, so I just set it off to the edge and that's gonna incorporate really nice into the blueberry mixture. So I had that sitting over there. We got four cups of fresh blueberries. We're gonna go in with them. And when you're cooking over the Brio, all the mixtures and everything kind of get gooey together, especially in a, in a kettle like that. So it doesn't have to be incorporated perfectly, but the better you have it, the less it'll burn, that kind of thing. I'm gonna go in with a full cup of sugar and then a half cup of water. And I am gonna stir that around a little bit. And the water kind of melts the sugar and gives it some nice crystallization. And then I am gonna add the butter at the end um, once the sugar's kind of incorporated into the liquid. I know what you're thinking. We got a cup of sugar and only a half cup of water. That's right, that's how we like it. We wanna make this really tasty. Normally we try and eat healthy, but today we're gonna to enjoy this treat. So you wanna be careful grabbing this off the edge of the fire. This isn't super hot, but whenever you're touching cast iron or anything off the fire, uh, you just wanna be mindful. So I am going in with the butter and I'm gonna drizzle that around and that is just gonna make it really, really smooth and delicious. Mix that up. And then I'm just gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna get started on the crumble. What we're gonna do is put this down first into the kettle and then we're gonna put the crumble on top, put the lid on and we're gonna be good to go. All right, so now we're gonna make this crumble. We have a cup of milk we have two cups of flour, and then we have our other delicious ingredients for added flavor. So first, I'm just gonna start to sprinkle the flour into the milk, and when you do that so you don't get uh, clumps and that kind of thing, with a crumble it's not as big of a deal, but I don't want huge flour um, clumps. So I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and whisk slowly as I add it in. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to get so there's not you're not biting into huge flour chunks later. So it almost kinds of kind of forms a dough. I am actually going to toss this butter just to soften it a little bit. We want to crumble, so I don't want to soften it too much um, or have it melt the whole way. But I just want to soften it that way. When I incorporate it in here, it's going to be really really good. So now we are going in. We need some baking powder two teaspoons of baking powder, that's gonna help it rise. Salt, salt even in sweet dishes is always really important. It just brings out all the other flavors, that's what salt does. We have cinnamon for the end, and of course we're gonna go with our half cup of sugar. We gotta add a little more sugar to this. If it isn't sweet enough, there we go. Okay, incorporate that in. The sugar is gonna help kind of break it down, give it a little bit of that crumble. I'm gonna check on the butter here in a second and then we should be good to go. I'm probably gonna get my hands in there and kind of crumble it on top, but the butter will help with that as well. So the butter is just softening nicely, and we're gonna go right in with that. Got a little bit of liquid, and then I'm gonna do the classic smash technique and kind of work that butter into it. It's gonna make it really, really good. All right, so just so you know, I've had the kettle sitting over there, just kind of getting up to temp. I don't want it scorching hot, so it burns everything that goes in, but I do want it to be uh, form an oven. So I've had that over there. I think it's good temp. When you pick up the lid, you can see some steam coming out. That's exactly what we want. We are gonna cook it over the fire then, and it's gonna really caramelize that sugar. 
So I think we're ready to go in with the ingredients. All right, so first we're gonna go in with the blueberry mixture. Um, I am gonna spray this just because this is more of a sticky recipe. I am gonna spray it with a little bit of non-stick spray. It's not a must. I'm thinking it might help a little bit and I figure anything I can do so that this comes out really nice at the end, it's worth it. So I'm just gonna quick hit that. And then I'm going right in with the blueberry mixture. Set that off to the side. And oh my word, this is gonna be ridiculous. It just, it looks tasty already. You hear that sizzle? It's not scorching it by any means. Oh my goodness, that looks good. And right away, I'm gonna go in with the crumble on top. And this is actually, it's kind of like a dough, so it's gonna kind of turn into, it's, it's gonna kind of turn into like a, a, a crust on top, hopefully, if all goes well. All right, so we got this in here now. We have our, uh, all of the mixtures in. I'm gonna shut the lid and I'm gonna add some coals to the top so it gets cooked from the top. All right, we're gonna check this sucker out. I did put a big, uh, a big log coal up top here because the top wasn't getting done quite as much, so I'm gonna carefully lift this off and dump the coals back in, but get a look at what we have there. Oh my goodness gracious. That is gonna be just awesome. It's gooey. The top crumble kind of sunk down in, but we're gonna have some really, really delicious bits. Now, big recommendation here is you gotta let this cool for a little bit before you scoop it out. It's gonna kind of like congeal together, if you know what I mean, and then we're gonna scoop it, serve it with some ice cream, and we're gonna dig that. I'm gonna tend to the fire for whatever I'm cooking next. Looking forward to that. All right, so this has cooled a little bit here. I am gonna do the honors. Oh my word. The crust on top is crunchy. Can you hear that? That's what you're looking for. It's gooey. It's crunchy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna top that with a little bit of ice cream. Check that out. Now that, my friends, is... Okay. A little dollop of ice cream. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put a couple fresh blueberries on top of the ice cream just because we can, and then top the whole thing with a little bit of cinnamon. All right, so here we have it. This is a delicious blueberry cobbler topped with ice cream, topped with blueberries and cinnamon. I can't wait to get into this. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out. Oh my goodness, look at that.